Welcome back to our lesson on calculating deferred annuities. This is question two of the series that I started earlier. This time the question asks, Natalie wishes to purchase an annuity for her retirement. Natalie is 30 years old today and she wants the first payment to occur in 35 years when she turns 65. She would like the annuity to make 20 equal annual installments of $20,000. How much will the annuity cost if the interest is compounded semi-annually and it's denoted this way and it's rated at 10%. So what's happening is that Natalie wishes to have $20,000 paid out to her starting at her 65th birthday for the next 20 years. So she wants this to happen from age 65 to 85. Now in order to make this dream come true she has to start saving up for this annuity starting today. So before we can start doing any calculations, I just want to point out that the interest is compounded semi-annually, but the cash flow is happening annually. And that's a problem. We need to change our interest so that the interest matches the cash flow. So before we do any major calculations, I want to get that out of the way. And for that, we'll use this formula where I have one plus i, and in our case here, it's divided by 2 because it's compounded semi-annually, and that's being raised to the power of 2. I'll replace i with 0 0.1 shortly, and that is equal to 1 plus i prime. That's the interest rate that we're looking for, and it matches the cash flow. This is also called the effective annual rate. So 1 plus 0 0.1 over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 1 plus i prime. We'll bring that 1 over and solve for i prime, and that will represent our brand new interest. I'll go ahead and use my calculator for this. So I have in parentheses 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2, raised to the power of 2, take away 1. And so our interest now is 0 0.1025. Now that I've found this number, I'll go ahead and find the present value of an account that pays $20,000 every year for the next 20 years. And the present value that I find here, that's the present value when she is 65 years old. Let me go ahead and show you how this calculation is done. So we take our present value and we make it equal to 20,000, multiply 2, one take away, in parentheses, one plus the interest we just found. And that get, gets raised to the power of negative 20, which is the amount of periods that she'll be receiving this, over the interest rate. Now using our calculator again, we have 20,000, multiply two, and in parentheses, if you have a calculator like this, you can open up a fraction and put in one takeaway, open parenthesis, one plus 0 0.1025 raised to the power of negative 20. And at the bottom, it's 0 0.1025 again. The present value when she's 65 years old for this particular account is 167,000 four zero five decimal and you want to carry those decimals. That's the present value when she is 65 years old. And what we're seeking in this question is what does she have to put into her account right now such that in the next 34 years the amount that she puts in right now at this rate will grow to that present value so that she can purchase this annuity and start to gain that $20,000 every year thereafter. Let me just create a quick timeline of why I said 34 and not 35 because it is clear that from 65 to 30 is 35 years. So why did I say 34? Well, in a timeline, t is equal to 0 is when she is 30 years old. And t is equal to 35 is when she's 65 years old. 
Now the amount that she puts into her account today needs to mature for 34 years, which is when t is equal to 34, before she can start using it a year later. So it's always a one year before she can start using it does that amount have to mature. Just be mindful of that because students often make that mistake. They think it has to mature for 35 years or up until she starts using it. That being said, how do we find that amount today that will have to mature to this amount before she can purchase the annuity? We use the future value formula. Future value is equal to the present value times 1 plus the interest rate raised to the power of n, which represents the number of periods. And we just distinguished that it is 34. The future value, we know it has to mature to that amount. So I'll write down 167405 decimal 7205 is equal to the present value that we're seeking multiplied to 1 plus 0 0.1025 raised to the power of 34. Here we apply a little bit of algebra. We can evaluate that first. But what I choose to do is I divide both sides by that expression and then perform everything on my calculator at once. On our calculator, we'll take the number on our screen, don't erase it, and divide that now by, in parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.1025 and we'll raise that to the power of 34. We end up with 6,650 decimal nine four to two decimal places. Let's interpret this. Natalie has to put in this amount today on her 30th birthday, which will grow in the next 34 years to the amount shown here. Once she turns 64, this small amount will have reached that amount of which a year later she can start to purchase her annuity which will give her 20 equal payments of $20,000. I hope that explanation made sense to you. If you have any questions like these and you are stuck, feel free to comment back and I'll gladly help you. Talk to you all later.